Hi, welcome back to the Northern Wood Shop. Now in today's video, we'll be making these nice little tea light candle holders with uh, just some piece of scrap wood around the wood shop. Um, it's very easy to do. I'll show you step by step how to do it and we'll have fun doing it. Now this, uh, this holder here um, is three and a half inches by three and a half inches. But for today's video, I'm gonna try just to make it a little tad smaller, just a three by three. So what do you need for this? Um, I just used a piece of 2x4, 3x3, and these two pieces of pine wood, 3x3 as well. So one will be the base, this will be on top, and this will be the top part. Now for the top part, we need to drill a hole right through to accommodate the candle. Now, a good way to just to find the, the center part, draw uh, just a small line here, corner to corner, okay? Do the same thing on the other side, like so, okay? And you know that where X marks the spot is the center of your, uh, of your square. Now we'll move up to the drill press and start drilling the, uh, the hole. Okay, so I've installed this uh, hole saw bit um, to accommodate the, uh, the tea light. So I'm just going to so just make sure the bit hits the center of the X. Slowly press down. Okay, now that the uh, the hole has been drilled. Uh, now comes the part where we glue everything together. So we'll just grab on some uh, some wood glue here. So we'll start off with the base. So what I'll, I'm using here is just a, a piece of cardboard just to make sure the uh, the glue is evened out everywhere. Doesn't matter if it uh, if it leaks a uh, you know on the outside like this. We'll just sand it down afterwards. Okay, same thing for the top part. Just a little glue here around. Again, we'll just spread the glue like so. Okay. And then like this. Now we'll just grab one of these clamps here and just clamp it all together. Now, it might move around a little bit. You might have to play around a little bit. And I'll just use a second one here. Like so. So once it's clamped, it's glued, we'll just put it aside, let it dry for a few hours, and then uh, you're ready to, to sand. Now, just to uh, speed things up for this video, I have one here that's already glued. Okay, yeah, I did this last night. So now, all we need to do now is just sand it down on all sides, make sure it's smooth all around. So we'll move up to the, uh, the belt sander and uh, we'll start sanding. Okay, so now we're ready to, uh, to sand this down. You can either use the belt or the disc or both. So we'll, uh, I'll start with the, the top uh, be uh, the belt. Now we're ready to um, to route the bottom part, like this, this finished product here, the the top part and the bottom part. Now everything is secured in place, and now we're ready to uh, to route. So I've already chosen the uh, the bit I'm going to use for the router. Okay, so we'll do this right now. <laughs> both uh, both sides like so uh, we'll just grab some uh, some sanding paper and just give a quick sand um, to the edges here that's good 
there. Same for the bottom. And it's done. So at this point in the project, uh, you can either decide to uh, paint it, stain it. In this case here, like I showed you before, I stained this one, okay? Uh, you can stain it any color you'd like, actually. But it's really nice when you can see all this, uh, the details in the wood really pop out. It makes a nice little gift, and uh, it's very easy to do. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this today's project, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, making it with me. So, um, no, don't forget to press the uh, the like button and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe.